don't believe everything you hear on talk radio or on podcasts <laughs> or in books when it comes to predicting markets. Yeah. It, it truly is nearly unpredictable until you get right up close to it. Once you're a few months away from a market turn, there are going to be indicators of certain things happening. There are going to be certain indicators saying, uh-oh, these companies are doing this, or this type of market is doing this, you know, the jewelry market is doing this, or the car market is doing this, so that might indicate this. There will be some leadway into something like that, but there won't always be. Yeah, I think you're right, but you're forgetting the wild card that is the U.S. government. That's right. And they hold, it's like playing poker and they're playing with a whole nut. They're playing with Magic the Gathering cards and <laughs> they just throw down a goblin or something. I don't know anything about magic. Goblins but, are real. Okay, and vampires, in, in right? Yeah. yeah. Goblins, vampires. Yeah. So you're Mermen. playing with a certain deck of cards and then all of a sudden there's a goblin thrown at you and you're like, what the hell is this? Yeah. <laughs> so just. Just when you think a market's about to do this, then, you know, the Federal Reserve drops a yeah. $40 trillion surplus or, into that market. Or <laughs> COVID happens. I mean, I don't think anyone yeah. could have predicted that. Right, right. Um, so there are so many factors that, yes, it might seem like the market's trending a certain way. And then that goblin comes up and... It's like, whoa, do? didn't even know that was a thing. So I think, to me, the safest way to be prepared is having the cash or access to cash yeah. so that you can respond. Because a problem becomes less of a problem when you can solve it yeah. with money. So essentially, feather your nest, build relationships. When I say feather your nest, that means have cash or access to cash. Okay. Right. So that's a that's a Bill Cook term that wow. I've, I've heard from him. You know, feather your nest... And then begin different uh, educating, you know, efforts for different types of markets. Right. And then build key relationships with people that can help you achieve your, your dream life. And then wait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, analyze deals as they come and, and do the ones that make sense and align with your roadmap to get to your dream life. Right. But otherwise... You know, stay vigilant. Yes. Stay diligent. Definitely. Never stop educating. And don't believe everything you hear on the radio. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Educate, but, you know, kind of trust, but verify. Everything. That's right. 